Howdy there, ladies and gentlemen. What I got you to do is, got to have you do is don't look at me. Look at the far end of that meadow, and what you're looking for is four Folgers coffee cans. I'm going to demonstrate my M77 Ruger gun sight scout. It's just that simple, and the distance I'm shooting at is about 45 yards or so, because right up in this very country lesson, Oh, a couple hundred yards from here, I missed out on an early morning buck because I couldn't find him in my crosshairs. You'll have to check out one of my other YouTube videos. I did a more complete video on that gun sight scout, that Ruger gun sight scout. So let's get on to shooting them coffee cans. Now, them coffee cans, they're half full of water because most of the water sloshed out as I was coming up the hill. Ha, ha, ha. I'm located about 40 miles from Livingston, Montana, as far as you can get up in these Absorky Mountains. Let's go. Here is my scout rifle. I'll hold it up here like this. I'm basically going to be shooting non-supported, but I'm not shooting at a very long distance. I'm only going to shoot four rounds if this works out okay for me. I never know. I got seven in the piece, but let, let, let's see what happens. I am shooting, this is a 308, and I am shooting 180 grain rounds. So look down range there and see if you can pick out those red one gallon, I guess they are, coffee cans. The one that's the furthest in the distance down there, I'm going to take it out first, and then I'm going to work my way back this way. Okay. Rifles got a cartridge chambered. Safety is off. Here we go. <laughs> Hit. That's what I like. I'm going to take out that one on the right there. And sorry about the wind. Ain't nothing I can do about that wind up in this country. The one on the right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Hit. The one, that's an old fireplace up there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I had a heck of a time propping up those, those uh, coffee cans, but... The one that's right in the middle of your screen, it's on the far side of the fire pit, it goes next. I forgot to put my earplugs in too. I can really hear it. Yeah, baby, this is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. Fourth round in my very last can, which I've blown them to smithereens. I've got plastic laying all over the place, which I will clean up before I leave here. That, this one can, coffee can, is on the right of that small pine tree. You can probably just barely see it. I realize that that digital camera is a long ways away from these coffee cans, but that digital camera right there is right at 50, 55 yards away from these cans, okay? Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I'm going to show this piece off for just a second here. This is a really nice rival. I like it a lot. And you're probably wondering what kind of a fool shoots at 40, 40, and 45 yards. Well, I got news for you. Like I say, here back about three or four years ago, I had a chance at one of these mountain monarch bucks right up where I'm at. And I, it was real early in the morning, and I could not find that buck in my crosshairs. And no, it isn't because I'm blind. It just took me a while, but I vowed I was going to set me up a rifle where I'd never happen again. You're following me, and this is that rifle. Ruger M77 caliber 308 Ruger gun sight scout. 
Okay, let me put this in the chair. And I do have a, another YouTube video, but let me grab up this. This really doesn't matter about all this hooping and hollering, but let me grab up this tripod and run up here to where I was. I can say I got plastic laying all over the place. Okay. Yeah, baby. These videos like to kill me doing this stuff. I can do them all in one shot. I'm not kidding you. There's plastic there. Plastic there. Boy, here's a good one. Take a look at this guy here. Uh, where did I hit him anyway? I guess it really doesn't matter. I got him somewhere. Here's you leave a hole right there. Right there, dead in the middle of that sucker. They were full of water. Okay, there's another one. See my straps in the way. Okay, hope you appreciated that, ladies and gentlemen. But that's a demonstration of my brush rival. Because up in this old timber up here in Montana, like I say, I don't know how many times that a, a big bull elk snuck out on me or a big buck and all that just because the timber's dark, the cover's heavy, etc., etc. Okay, I don't want this video to get too long. Took me a while to set up for this. Thank you very much for the review.